It was today I was working out and I actually started, yes, because I'm at one I'm twenty pounds over my my goal. Mm -hmm. So I wanna lose at least ten of those twenty from now to November to Thanksgiving. Yeah, well on our last episode, all right, uh, I told you guys how my diet was going. Uh-huh. I had gained two pounds. So I started off at 200 pounds, all right? I gained two pounds, so I went up to 202. So my goal for the first week is to lose between, it was to lose five pounds, which I believe your first five pounds should come off really easy. Like they should just come right off. You know, if you start eating healthy and you do exercise, they should just come off, right? If you've been eating like shit for the last couple of months, right? You start eating healthy, the weight should come right off. Um, but then what ended up happening was the second day of the first weekend, instead of losing weight, I actually gained two pounds. two pounds. I went, oh shit, so now I had to lose, instead of five, I gotta lose seven, right? So now, I'm in my day, we started this on Monday, on Monday right? Today is Wednesday, we started Thursday. Sunday. Thursday. We, we started Sat. we started Sunday. So then you, then Sunday. and today's Thursday. And today's Wednesday. No. Yesterday was one. Oh, that's right. Today's Thursday. That's right. So, I lost the two pounds I gained. Plus, yay, yay plus four more pounds. So you've lost six. So I've lost six. So I'm one pound away from the original five goal. Without, if you don't count those two pounds that I actually gained two days into my workout, because for anybody that's got to be disappointing. Like, all right, you know what? If you're motivated, I'm gonna eat healthy all day. I'm not gonna eat shit. I'm not gonna have you know, I, I'm not going to have a beer or I'm I'm going to stay away from all the bad carbs. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you gain two pounds. Now, for anybody, that's detrimental. You're like, that's it. I quit. I can't do it. I actually gain weight. Like we say, that's the devil testing you. Yeah, tempting you, right? Don't give up. All right, cool. Now I got to lose more. It's okay. I got this. I'm one pound away and I still have Friday and Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, that's great. And today we have did cardio, so it's that's going better. You know, just staying eating healthy, um, no, no, um, no carbs, sugars, no carbs, no sugar, no no processed foods, none of that. Just healthy eating, lots of water, and very limited coffee. Yes. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So he's doing. He's on his way. I am. I was one thirty six, and I am at one fifty five. Are you at 155? You're welcome. 157 last night. There you go. So, starting starting to go back down. That's it. Just the day you worked out. No, I went up two pounds. Yeah, you see, it always happens. You go so up two we'll pounds. So, we'll see where we are tonight when I check. Not, you're going to do it tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow. Early in the morning. Without, make sure you pee first, because then the results are a lot better. All right? <laughs> Actually, and don't drink water. Right? Don't drink water. Just go straight from bed. Pee. Weigh yourself. That's what I do. That's you see, I you have you walk around in two ways. You have your wake up weight, which is after all your food is out of your system, you you've processed it, uh, you've peed, you you haven't drank any more water, so you haven't gained to the water weight. That's your wake up weight. But then you have a walk around weight, mm -hmm. and the walk around weight is after you drink water, after you have breakfast, after you eat. You know, that's what you walk around that. And and I usually go up about. A couple of pounds. Like three. It can be anywhere between three and five and four. Okay. From moment of wake up to the moment. Now, you know what really sucks is when you wake up one morning and you're like, all right, I lost two pounds. And then you fuck it up the weekend. Like the weekend comes and you like, ah, it's the weekend. I'm going to do this. But you've got to set a goal. You know, and I have a goal that by Thanksgiving, well, yeah, I'm going to be have at, to. So you have to maintain to your goal, right? So now you, you're you going to go all the way up to, uh, you have a fun weekend. All of a sudden, it took you a week to lose two pounds. Then over the weekend, you gained five. Then that's when, you see, that's what's oh, happening to me. And that's so tough because you have that morning croissant or you have, you know, you, you have hash browns or you have whatever, whatever it is, you know. And, a bagel with a lot. Right? If you have stuff like that, it's going gonna, gonna to derail you from your goal. And, but if you fuck up, don't hang yourself for it. No. Just come right back and keep, and keep working on it. But don't, yeah. but don't fuck up too much. Because like, don't takes, fuck up every weekend. It takes 21 days to establish a habit. Yeah. So if you really, if it's something that you want to do, the, it takes 21 days. So after this, this is what they say. 
it's never easy. But after the 21st day and you're in your 22nd, things now become easier because you've already broken the pattern of not being consistent. So are, are, are we expected to be consistent? We're going to try our best. Can it mean we fall off one, one day? It might happen. Do we want to? No. It's not that hard anymore for us. It used to be harder. It used to be harder. Now it's easier. Like, I always feel like you just have to always, like, in order for you to lose weight, you shouldn't starve yourself because it's not healthy either because then, no. you start, you, then your body just starts eating through the muscle. Yeah. But I think you should always be a little bit hungry. Yeah, and then... Like, you, you should never be stuffed. Exactly. You should never be starving. Exactly. But you should be, a, you should, in order to lose the weight, that means you have to be a little bit hungry. Just a little bit. And that little bit hungry, you know what you need to that to to quench that little bit of hunger? A quick cookie. A quick this. Because you, you don't go and have a full meal. No. And that little cookie that you eat or that piece of toast bread, that's what brings your weight up. Exactly. For that little bit of hunger. But if you maintain, you know what? I'm okay. I'm just a little bit hungry. Well, but we do something for that. We'll eat some seeds no. or we'll have a, a, a teaspoon of dark chocolate bits. Like or... right now, I'm a little bit hungry. But it's okay. I'm not starving. Yeah. Like starving is different. Like, oh man, I just need a big meal because I'm so no, I just like I would like something small, but that's something small. Sometimes it's hard to come by healthy. Because you go for the cookie or something. Exactly. But because it's an easy go to it's an easy go to. And you say, Ah, you know what? It's just one cookie. But then that's why you also have to prepare your house. Like for example, we make our own little trail mix with seeds. But we grab a teaspoon and we put each of those we have cranberries. We have so we, cranberries, uh-huh. uh, walnuts, uh, sunflower seeds, sunflower seeds, and um, and cashews, cashews. Yeah. And, pretty... and pistachios. Yeah. And then our son, he's actually the lucky one because he can get the ones that are a little bit more starchier. So he'll get sesame sticks with um a, a couple of uh, uh, sunflower seeds, and then a little bit of a trail. So mix. a little bit of a little yeah. bit of sugary. Just a bit, and then the rest is healthy. Just he's a kid, yeah. You know, like enjoy it now, dude. Like if you're gonna enjoy it, enjoy it when you're young. And especially now that he's back in school and he's moving, yeah, he needs a so little he more needs energy. a little bit more. Not energy. a lot, so he's yeah. not gonna have a whole Twinkie. No, what we do is that we have the tablespoon and we have a t- uh, teaspoon. The measures, yeah. exactly. So the sh- the sugary stuff I do it on a tea a teaspoon, and the non sugary stuff I do it on a tablespoon, and then I put it in a little ziploc bag. I mush it together, not mush it, but I shake it. So now when he grabs it, he's grabbing an array of stuff. He's not just grabbing either trail mix or this and that. You know what he goes for? He goes for the chocolate cheese. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, but that, that those taste really good. good. And that's another thing that you can have too. If you if you have a big sweet tooth, chocolate. I have these little chocolate bits that I eat. Freaking amazing. But dark chocolate. Yeah, dark chocolate. It has to be dark chocolate, and at the least sugar, the better. Mm-hmm. So like that, you don't get chunky dunky. Or we usually have some tea with a little bit of honey. And it kind of gives you that that little edge. The tea at night just makes me use the bathroom too many times at night. And I don't know why. So you're going to have to drink it earlier. Earlier. Like, yeah. like now. now. Yeah, like now. Now would be a good time to have oh, your right, tea. I'll be back. Or I'm six. Gonna, I'm going to get it. I'm just kidding. 